Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Gadebia Palace a number of Husseini Matams, led by the President of Madame Matam, Ibrahim Al Mansur, who all expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his efforts in ensuring the success of the Shura season. His Royal Highness affirmed that every achievement made in the Kingdom is thanks to the unity and cohesion of its people. He added that the success of the Shura season is proof of a strong social fabric and values in the Kingdom of Bahrain. His Royal Highness stressed that the Kingdom, under the leadership of His Majesty the King, prioritised the citizen and that the government will ensure provision of high living standards to the people. His Royal Highness welcomed the guests and praised the efforts in cooperating with ministries and concerned bodies in ensuring the success of the Shura season. Muslim Al Sheikh Ahmed Al Asfar delivered a speech on behalf of the attendees where he expressed honour to meet with His Royal Highness and praised his directives and facilitations as well as his efforts to ensure the safety and well being of the people. He extended his appreciation to His Majesty the King as well as His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The audience expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness and hailed the role of the government in this regard. They praised His Royal Highness's keenness to communicate with citizens and meeting their needs and wished him abundant health and happiness. الثاني أسمى آيات الشكر والعرفان على رعايتكم الشاملة لهذا الحدث السنوي المبارك وعلى توجيهاتكم لكل الوزارات والمؤسسات الحكومية بتقديم كافة التسهيلات لما من شأنه الحرص على توفير الأمن والسلامة والرعاية الصحية لهذه الشعائر والمواكب الحسينية وللمآتم وللمعزين من داخل وخارج مملكة البحرين صاحب السمو إن المراقبة لرعاية حكومتكم الموقرة 
بموسم عاشوراء الإمام الحسين عليه السلام ليشعر بالسعادة واللقطة لما آلت إليه رعايتكم السامية بالالتقاء بأواصر اللحمة الوطنية بين فئات هذا الشعب ومما لا شك فيه بأن رعايتكم هذه هي المصداق الأكبر لشعار الوحدة الوطنية التي يمثلها صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة ملك البلاد المفدى حفظه الله ورعاه فهو الحامي الأمين للدين والوطن وراعي الوحدة الوطنية فمن القلب ومن هذا الجمع الطيب وكل شعب البحرين الأصيل نتقدم لسموكم بجزيل الشكر وعظيم الامتنان والانقيادة الرشيدة وعلى رأسها صاحب الجلالة الملك المفدى حفظه الله ورعاه وصاحب السمو الملكي الأمير سلمان بن حمد آل خليفة ولي العهد الأمين على كل ما قدمته هذه القيادة الحكيمة لجموع المعزين في هذا العام وعلى مدى السنوات الماضية حفظكم الله يا صاحب السمو وجعلكم ذخرا وسندا لهذا الشعب الوفي إنه سميع مجيب الدعاء والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, today met with the United States Secretary of Defence, Mark Thomas Asper, at the Pentagon. His Royal Highness highlighted that the continued defence coordination and collaboration represents a cornerstone of the strategic partnership between Bahrain and the United States. His Royal Highness pointed out that Bahrain has hosted the United States Fifth Fleet in the Arabian Gulf region since 1947, a continual reminder of the long-standing and mutually supportive partnership between the two countries. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince later noted that Bahrain and the United States are fully aligned in a number of key issues, including the need to counter destabilising activities in the region and further afield. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince went on to point out the Kingdom's role in the development of a maritime task force to better protect shipping in the Arabian Gulf, a clear example of how Bahrain-US collaboration is supporting regional stability. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and the US Secretary of Defence then reviewed ways to further strengthen bilateral relations and safeguard regional security. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, today met with the US Secretary of State, Michael Richard Pompeo, at the Department of State. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince began by acknowledging the key role played by the United States and its allies in maintaining peace and security in the Arabian Gulf region. 
He noted that Bahrain and the US have been close partners for over 100 years, adding that the continued bilateral cooperation was essential in order to meet the world's economic and security challenges. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince went on to reaffirm the Kingdom of Bahrain's commitment to further strengthening the bilateral relationship by developing ever closer security, trade and cultural ties. In this regard, His Royal Highness stressed the importance of collaboration and coordination to confront those who seek to undermine security and sow seeds of discard, both regionally and internationally. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs and President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, witnessed the launch of Youth Endurance World Championship in Italy with the participation of 114 riders from 35 countries, including five from the Royal Endurance Team. He affirmed that the sport is supported by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and affirmed that the participation of the Royal Team affirms the team's keenness to follow His Majesty's directives in high profile events in order to achieve more accomplishments. He affirmed that the team is following a strategy that will prepare them for current and future events. He expressed satisfaction of the team's performance and said that the environment was properly prepared for the participants and their horses, even though some horses reported the injured had had to withdraw. His Highness added that the team is preparing for upcoming events and affirmed that the coming phase requires more effort to achieve the targeted goals. The competition witnessed strong competition, especially from the UAE, which is a result of the care of the UAE Deputy President, Prime Minister and ruler of Dubai, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, who provides a suitable environment for the stables and riders. His Highness affirmed that the participation will provide participants with lots of experience, help them to perform the highest levels and will result in further accomplishments for the Kingdom. His Highness also praised the successful organising of the event. The UAE participants went to greet His Highness Sheikh Nasser and expressed thanks and appreciation to him for watching and attending the race and for his encouragement that helped him to win the championship. On this occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser congratulated the UAE team on winning the first title in the championship. The 2019 World Endurance Championships for Young Riders and Juniors was launched at the Italian town of Pisa, where five horsemen from Bahrain's Royal Team for Endurance, two from UAE and Saudi Arabia each, as well as one from Oman. To mark the occasion, His Majesty the King's representative for charity work and youth affairs and chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed the importance of participating in such high-profile international events in light of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's full support for all matters relating to Bahraini youth and sports. His Highness said that Bahrain's royal team has left its mark on many past competitions and affirmed that the team will continue to aspire to achieve further honours in an effort to raise Bahrain's sporting profile on the world stage. 
His Highness said that the tournament being held in Italy represents a milestone for the royal team because it features the participation of the youth, who he said are the future of horse racing sport in Bahrain. His Highness said that the participation will therefore help them acquire the expertise to compete in future tournaments. His Highness expressed confidence in the ability of the participating horsemen to perform at the highest level in this competition, which he said is witnessing fierce competition, especially from the UAE and Spanish teams, and wished the team success. His Highness praised the organising efforts of the Supreme Council and affirmed support for the participating teams. Accompanying His Highness was Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for the Environment and President of the Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, BREEF, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, who briefed His Highness Sheikh Nasser about the preparation efforts for this competition. His Highness Sheikh Nasser met with the horsemen from the Royal Team prior to the veterinary examination, where His Highness urged the participants to put in the best possible performance. His Highness, along with His Highness Sheikh Faisal, then observed the competition's official veterinary examination, as well as the preparations that were carried out by the Royal Team. This is a world world, and everyone is here today and is here today in the event of 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 the event. الفريق الملكي طبعا ينافس دائما بالصدارة ودائما ينافس أكبر الملاك وأكبر الخيل اللي متواجدة أنا متفائل إن شاء الله نحن راح نأدي المهمة وحاليا الأمور كلها طيبة ما عدا عندنا طبعا بطلنا اللي احنا يعني ما أقول لك حاطين احتمالنا الأكبر عليه ولكنه كان بيساعدنا في المقدمة يعني. في المقدمة وقد إنه يعني هو كان عنده الاحتمال الأكبر إنه يفوز ولكن الخيرة في الباقية طبعا سحبنا الحصان اللي هو اسمه أسد قبل لا يدخل حتى الفحص البيطري عشان مو أي شيء ثاني غير حفاظا على سمعة رياضتنا هذه لأن إحنا بمكاننا إحنا نصلح الحصان ويركض بكرة لكن لا إن شاء الله قد إنه يحصل عليه مكروه بكرة في السباق وتنتقل يعني طول العمر تنتقل هذه الاصابه الى 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 انتقادات واحنا غنيين عنها فالحصان في اصابه بسيطه وهذه كلها تراكمت عقب القرار اللي اتخذ ضده في وينزر لان اضطرينا نعيد للسباق مره ومرتين الين ما يتاهل حق بطوله العالم فيعني هذه الاشياء ساعات الواحد ياخذ قرار يظن قرار بسيط لكن ما يدري شنو التراكمات اللي عليه لكن هذه مو بعد توفيق بدأ الفحص البيطري فريق الملكي شكل حطينا الخيل الرئيسية وأنا متفائل جدا إن شاء الله أن اللي بتشوفونه بكرة ما بتعذر بقول لكم هذا أقصانا وهذا أمية بالأمية اللي إحنا أدينا إحنا دائما طبعا ثقتنا فيك طول العمر كبيرة رجل خبير وتدرس الأمور بعناية إذا الآن نسأل هل تتوقع المنافسة بتكون ثلاثية ما بين البحرين والإمارات وإيطاليا أم تعتقد؟ هناك مجالات أخرى لمرات البحرين وأسبانيا موفقين إن شاء الله وياك إن شاء الله The Ministry of Education launched the program of integrating autistic children in intermediate schools based on the outstanding results achieved in the primary schools during the past years in light of the policy of integrating learners with special needs in public schools. The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid Ben Ali Al Noemi, opened the first classroom as part of this new educational experience at Wadi Al Sail Intermediate Boys School. He expressed pride in launching this developmental step that will provide those learners with an opportunity to continue their formal education at the intermediate stage. The Minister highlighted the remarkable results achieved by integrating autistic children during the past period, which is part of the many educational achievements made with the support of the leadership. He affirmed that the Ministry will continue to develop its policy of integrating learners with special needs, which is considered one of Bahrain's leading experiences, with the testimony of many regional and international organisations. The national carrier of the Kingdom of Bahrain Gulf Air prepares for its 70th anniversary by receiving its 7th 7-9 Dreamliner with a redesigned livery. On the sidelines of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa's official visit to the United States of America, Gulf Air, the national carrier of the Kingdom of Bahrain, received its 7th Boeing 7879 Dreamliner at Dulles International Airport in Washington, D.C. The event, which took place ahead of Gulf Air's 70th anniversary, was attended by the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism and Chairman of Gulf Air's Board of Directors, Zayed Zayani, and the United States Secretary of Commerce, Wilbur Ross.
Delphair has enjoyed a long-standing relation with Boeing, uh, something that we started 40 years ago or plus. And today, Boeing is an integral part of the growth strategy of Gulf Air, which is going to focus in the next coming years to expand new network, to expand our network to new long-haul flights uh, based on the use of the 787 Dreamliner. This plane is number seven out of ten deliveries. Uh, we've already have six flying on our fleet, uh, with four more, including this one, to be delivered by first quarter next year. Uh, this one we chose as being number seven to do in the livery of the old livery of Gulf Air to celebrate 70 years. Uh, we are the oldest airline in the region. Uh, we have a huge legacy and, and heritage and we hopefully will build on that to expand even further. Uh, this is also a testimony to the trade relations between Bahrain and the United States. Uh, they have been growing, and, and since me being in this office and working with Secretary Ross, I think we, a lot has been achieved. Uh, we're building on the FTA, which was signed in 2006, or came into effect in 2006. And over the 10-year span of the FTA, trade between the United States and Bahrain has almost quadrupled. Uh, I think that's a testimony uh, to the success of this uh, agreement, and we plan with, with the Secretary's help to take it a level further from just being purely trade to being more of investments and joint ventures between the Bahraini and the United States private sector. Uh, I'd like to thank you, the Boeing team, for making this possible, uh, for building this beautiful aircraft, and for making it available to us all today. Thank you very much. We really appreciate that. And once again, I'd like to thank the Secretary for being here and for giving us the time out of his busy schedule. And we hopefully will come back and get much more Boeings from you. Thank you. It's also my honor to be here on behalf of the United States government and the Trump administration to further fortify the alliance between our two nations. To those of you from the Bahrain Embassy, and from the government of Bahrain, thank you for your long-term dedication to the friendship we have between our two nations. And a special thank you to everyone from Gulf Air and Boeing for organizing this event in celebration of the visit of His Royal Highness Crown Prince to the United States. It is also wonderful to view the retro-style livery of Gulf Air Dreamliner, your number seven. I think that's symbolic given it's the 70th anniversary of Gulf Air. The attendees toured the aircraft which displayed a redesigned vintage version of the Golden Falcon Lockheed TriStar livery representing the company's iconic design from the 1970s. The new Dreamliner will join the fleet by the end of October, increasing the total number of Dreamliners operated by the airline to seven aircrafts following the delivery of three more by 2021. In 2018, Gulf Air launched its new brand identity in the Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix and introduced its first Boeing 787-9 Dreamliner along with a series of new destinations. The airline also launched a new boutique strategy in early 2019. As Gulf Air moves forward with its strategy, the airline pays tribute to the past with the revamped livery signaling a new era. On the occasion of the visit of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to the United States of America, we are very pleased to be here in Washington to receive the 7th Boeing 787-9 Dreamliner. Because of the number 7 and Gulf Air's celebration of its 70th anniversary, we have decided to give this airplane behind me a new look, with a touch from the past, so that it holds the colors of Gulf Air from the 70s and 80s, but holds all modern technologies and provides comfort and luxury from the inside. This airplane will be the first in the Gulf Air fleet to have a compartment for the comfort of the crew, which will enable us to take long direct flights for more than 14 hours, which will be a qualitative leap for Gulf Air. Retro technology for the seats and the exterior design and the most modern and most comfortable technology for the passengers 
and the ease of traveling very long distances. So I think that's a wonderful combination. Gulf Air has ordered 39 airplanes. The set plan is to receive all airplanes by 2023. Today's order comprises of 10 Boeing 787-9 Dreamliners and the Airbus. We also have a new airplane called NEO. We have an order of 12 Airbus 320neo airplanes and 17 Airbus 321neo. So far we have received three 320neo airplanes and we are waiting for the arrival of the Airbus 321neo in 2021, if not before. Gulf Air will celebrate its 70th anniversary in 2020 with a series of events and promotions. The Tourism Authority of Thailand partners with the Thailand-based medical tourism portal and conducts its first health and wellness promotion exhibition in Bahrain at the Gulf Hotel to strengthen cooperation in this field. More in this report with Hiba Abdul Ghaffar. My name is Sheikha Sadiqi. Another testament to the unique partnership enjoyed by Bahrain and Thailand on so many levels. The Tourism Authority of Thailand partners with the Thailand-based medical tourism portal Dr. A to Z and conducts the Thailand Health and Wellness Roadshow for the first time in Bahrain to serve as a platform for expansion of businesses and brands in the spa and wellness industry and strengthen cooperation in this promising field. Last year, we have about the Bahraini to Thailand welcome about uh, 32,000 Bahraini to Thailand. So this uh, kind of object objective for this event, we would like to promote for health and wellness destination for Thailand for the for the good destination for Bahraini people. Thailand have a potential because we have a. Um a high quality Joy Commission International Hospital. This is we have a number of as a third world largest of the hospital. And we have a qualified specialist doctor also with a wellness center, this is a quality that ready for medical tourism patient or wellness tourism. We have the more than five medical doctors from Thailand from various fields. Uh, for example, for the cancer treatment, diabetes, but high blood pressure, and until the dermatologist, and for the anti-aging, and for the, the all of the kind of the wellness, and for the holiness, uh, holistic health care program, and also for the spa, and we have the spa academy that the, all of them, they plan to come to Bahrain, and they see the potential. Trade representatives specialized in the health and wellness sector displayed a wide variety of products and services to both customers and businesses, starting from beauty products to complicated medical treatments. Moreover, explored the market demand in Bahrain in the health, spa and wellness field, utilizing the open door for trade and commerce between the two friendly countries. People who suffer from uh, knee degeneration and maybe they don't want surgery, we have the treatment that maybe can help uh, avoid the surgery or the hip degeneration, cervical spine degeneration, lumbar spine degeneration. This is the field that we are expertise. We do the uh, pain management without surgery. This is my first time in Bahrain actually and I'm very impressed because I've never been in Middle East before and I'm, I feel a little bit uh, warm welcomed here. A lot of Thai food <laughs> and a lot of Thai people and Bahraini they are so nice and um, very welcomed. I feel very welcomed. Bahrainian will see that Thailand has a lot to offer about the medical service and also a lot of things, spa and also wellness. Trade value between the two countries in 2018 dumped 43.2 percent to reach 415.5 million US dollars and are expected to grow with such expos leading to a greater partnership. Nevertheless, such expos not only promote trade and business matching but also good relationship and a stronger connection. The Tourism Authority of Thailand partners with an innovative Thailand-based medical tourism portal to hold here today the first of its kind health and wellness roadshow in Bahrain, especially in Bahrain, which is also a testament to the wonderful relationship Bahrain and Thailand enjoy. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Hiva Abdul